In this video we're going to do examples 4 and 5 where we fill out this table and calculate the positive predictive value and the negative predictive value of um, these two tests in these two cities. Okay, So we'll start with example 4 and we're just going to fill out these first two columns. Suppose the test for a disease is a sensitivity of 85% and a specificity of 70%. Suppose that in a city 25% of the population has the disease and there's 10,000 people all together. Fill in the table. Okay? So these people have the disease, these people do not. What percentage of the city has the disease? Okay, so we've got from statistics or whatnot we have a, a pretty good a estimate that t a quarter of the city has a disease, that's 25 percent, right? So there's some sort of an outbreak going on. So what we're going to do is in the totals column here we're going to put in um, the 25 percent of 10,000 put that here, what's that make? They're the people who have the disease and, and how many people don't have the disease? 75% don't have the disease, right? So that goes there. So these are the people that have it, these are the people that don't. Go ahead and calculate that. 25% of 10,000, what's that? So that's 0.25 times 10,000, isn't it? Or 2,500. 75% of 2,000 would be 0.75 times 10,000, which would be, sorry, 7,500. And these two amounts add up to 10,000, the amount of people in the city. Okay, so let's just get that line in first, that row in first. Okay, so what does this number mean? 2,500. It means that in this city, two and a half thousand people have the disease, right? If these people are tested. We're going to calculate how many will test positive, how many will test negative. So our next step is to fill in these two. So we're going to calculate how many will test positive. If this many people have the disease, how many will test positive? And what gives you that? If you know the number of people that have a disease, what percent, what's going to tell you the percentage of those who have the disease that test positive? That is the sensitivity. Okay? Sensitivity. In short, sensitivity means you have the disease. Write that down. You have the disease. This is a no. Sensitivity, you have to. This is when you know you have the disease. If you know you have disease, sensitivity tells you the probability. Probability, the test will detect the diseases. Its presence. That's what sensitivity is. You have the disease. The probability of the test will detect its presence. How many people have the disease? Two and a half thousand. What's the sensitivity? Eighty-five percent. Eighty-five percent of these people are going to be told, yeah, you got the disease from the test. Fifteen percent are be going to be told, no, you don't have the disease, even though they do, right? So they definitely have it, but the test isn't perfect. So sensitivity you take the people who have the disease, 85% of these guys are going to be told, yes, you have it. 15%, the rest of them, are going to be told, no, you don't, even though they do. Calculate these two numbers. So that would be 0 0.85 times 2,500, right? And 0 0.15 times 2,500. Oops. Uh, 
So, 85% of this, I hope you got 2,125, and 15% is 375. Okay? So, even though 2,500 actually have the disease, only 2,125 of them are going to test positive, and 375 are going to get false results. They're going to be the test will say they don't it'll give them a negative result even though they really do have it, right? Now, how many out of the people who don't have the disease, how many will test positive, how many will test negative? And what do we use to calculate that? I'll just go over that again. That is the specificity. So let's write this down. I'm writing it so you can too. Specificity. It's a lot of fun. Specificity in a nutshell. You don't have the disease. You know this. You have to know this. You don't have the disease. Specificity is going to give you the probability the test will detect the absence of the disease. Okay. Specificity is the probability the test will detect its absence of people who already definitely don't have it. These seven and a half thousand people don't have the disease. The specif specificity is 70%, meaning 70% of these guys are going to be told, are going to get a negative test. So, told, yeah, you don't have it. But, the, what's the rest? 30%, right? The uh, the rest of them of these poor people are going to be told you have the the disease even though they don't actually have it, right? <laughs> the test is not perfect, not by a long way. It's not perfect at all, right? <laughs> so, what do those numbers make? 70% of this, 30% of this. Can you calculate that? So, isn't that 0 0.70 times 7500? giving us 5250 so out of these people who don't have the disease 5250 will test negative out of these people who don't have the disease 2250 will test positive so this is a terrible, it's a lot of people being told they, they have the disease when they actually don't, right? And 375 people being told they don't have the disease when they do, so it's not a great test, but then again, such is life, right? So, what I want you to do is the exact same thing for example 5. And after that, we'll get on to doing the positive predictive value and negative predictive value for example 4 and 5. So please press pause and do everything, do all of the same things for example 5 and then I'll do it. So what I mean is we start off by saying how many people have the disease. The population is 10,000, right? There's 12% of the population has the disease. So that's 12% of 10,000 goes here. They're the people that have the disease. How many people don't have the disease? The rest. 88% of 10,000 goes here, right? They don't have the disease. Calculate these numbers, write them in. So of course that's 0 0.12 times 10,000 giving us 1,200 and this is 0 0.88 times 10,000 giving us 8,800. 1,200 have the disease for sure, 8,800 don't have the disease for sure. How accurate is this test going to be? We're testing the test once again, right? How accurate is it going to be? Let's see. Let's do this cell. How many people who have the disease will test positive? 
How would you figure this out? Do you remember? If you already have the disease, what's the chances that you'll test positive? Sensitivity tells you that, right? So, in a nutshell, sensitivity is the probability of predicting the presence in someone who has the disease, right? So prob of predicting presence in someone that has a disease. So we take 90% of the people who have the disease, 1200, they'll be told, yes, you have it, right? Zero point nine zero times twelve hundred. Oops. One thousand and eighty. So of these people who actually have the disease, this many will be told yes, you have it. How many of them will test negative? How many of these people will be told that they don't have it by the test? The other ten percent, right? Ten percent of the people who have the disease that gives 120 right these 120 people will be told you don't have it even though they do can you fill in these two uh, blanks how many people will test negative that actually don't have the disease if you take the people that don't have the disease how many of them will test negative what will give you that So, the specificity is the probability of or detecting, sorry, predicting, detecting the absence of a disease, right? Which means that specificity is 95% if you take these people who don't have it 95% of them will be told they don't have it right so specificity you don't have the disease what's the probability of you being told you don't have it the probability of detecting the absence right so calculate that and then 5% of these people who don't have the disease the, the rest of them are going to be told you do so these people will test negative, these people will test positive. Calculate these numbers and write them in. So this is 8360, this is 440, right? So out of these people who definitely don't have the disease, 8000 360 will be told that they don't and 440 will be told that they do by the test right so and of course if you take the total here that's 10,000 people overall right so what we're going to do now is look at positive predictive value and negative predictive value right and let's go to um, well, uh, uh, let's see. Shall we? Yeah, we shall stay here. We'll stay here. Positive predictive value is if you take just the people who tested positive, how many of them actually have the disease? So, positive predictive value, write this down. value. What is that? It's PPV for short. It's the percent of people who test positive who have the disease.
who actually will say have the disease or okay so so let's get that what's the how do you get percentage peop of people who test positive who have the disease you take um, all the people who test positive right add these two things together and get a total right so 1080 plus 440 that's 1520 all these people tested positive what percentage of what percentage of them have the disease the percentage of them have the disease is 1080 these are all the people who have the disease out of all the people that tested positive okay So uh, and then and then calculate that. So one o eight o divided by one five two o is zero point seven one zero five, etc. Round that to a um, to a percentage to one decimal place. and we get 71.1 percent right now um, the negative predictive value which is n p v is the percentage of people who test negative who actually don't have the disease. The percentage of people who test negative actually don't have the disease. So if you take all the people who test negative, these people and these people, the people who do have the disease and the people who don't, right? That makes 8,480, right? And you take the so the negative percentage value is going to be the people who don't have the disease and tested negative, the trues, over all the people who tested negative. 8480. And that gives what? zero point nine eight five eight etc round that to a percentage to one decimal place ninety eight point six percent okay so what does this mean if we go this means if imagine you tested negative you're from this city, you tested negative. You're either you either have the disease or you don't. There's a ninety eight point six percent chance you're one of these people. You're most likely in this group. If you test negative, there's a ninety eight point six percent chance that you really don't have the disease. The positive predictive value. If you test positive you're either in this group where you have the disease or you're in this group where you don't have the disease, right? There's a 71.1% chance that you actually have the disease if you test positive if you're from this city. So that's not perfect at all, is it? So 
these values tell you the chances what the chances are given your test result okay so these are kind of more interesting than sensitivity and specificity really for for the patient you know like here oh I, I got a positive test result oh that means 70 percent chance that it's, it's actually true because I'm probably in this group here oh I got a negative test result okay that's really that's really um, comforting because there's a very high percent chance that I that it is a definitely a true result okay so um, let's see on example four can you put in the totals for people that tested positive and people that tested negative have you got it all the people that tested positive, if you add these together, we get four three seven five. All the people that tested negative, add them together. Five six two five. Calculate the positive predictive value. Let's write it down again. If we write it down, we remember it. What does this mean? Uh, it, so it's the percentage of people who test positive who actually have the disease. Can you calculate that? What percentage of the people who tested positive actually have the disease in example 4? these people actually have the disease all these people were tested positive 4375 okay what does that give you Zero point four eight five seven. Round that to a percentage with one decimal place. Forty eight point six percent, right? What does this mean? The positive predictive value is forty eight point six percent. It means you tested positive. You're from the city, you tested positive. Sheesh, you could be either in this group who tested positive and have the disease or you could be in this group who tested positive and actually don't have the disease so the positive predictive value says you test positive that has happened you tested positive okay the positive predictive value gives the probability you have the disease given that you tested positive see that now for the negative predictive value let's write it down again Negative so it's positive predictive value, negative predictive value, right? So the negative predictive value is once again the percentage of people who test negative who actually don't have the disease. Okay? So we take and this is why I'm lining them up because what I want you to do is we're just looking at this row for the positive predictive value we're looking at this row for the negative predictive value right so for negative predictive value it's the percentage of people who test negative who actually don't have the disease but these people test negative as well and they have the disease so you take the 5250 and you divide by 5625 
Okay, and what does that give? Zero point nine three three two three three, etc. Round that to a percentage with one decimal place. Move the decimal point over one two spaces. Have about ninety three point three percent. What does negative predictive value mean? NPV. It means. You test negative. Can you trust this result? The negative predictive value will give you the probability that you don't have the disease. That you've tested negative, right? So the funny thing is, in this city, if you test positive, there's only a 48% chance that you actually have the disease. So you should probably go test, it, go go and get tested again, or maybe even a third time, because if you get tested positive, there's a really good chance you're one of these people that get gets tested positive and doesn't have the disease. And that be that is because um, the um, specificity. Thirty percent of people, thirty percent of people, who don't have the disease, actually get told they do. Right. So you could well be one of these people. Negative predictive value. Imagine that you got tested. The test said you're negative. Now that's not. It's never a guarantee because no tests are perfect. Um, but you know that, hey, it's a 93.3% chance that that test was correct. You can go and get tested again just to make sure, but that should be enough. That's pretty high. So the chances are, if you get tested, get a negative test, chances are you're in this group here, the people that do not have the disease, right? And not in the 375, the people who tested negative, but do have the disease, right?